<laughs> Last night was crazy. <laughs> and then that's... Ah! The hell? Who are you? What did we do? No, 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 You gotta be kidding. Get away from me! Where am I? What the hell happened last night? What? We need your approval to sign off on our next move. Wait a minute. I can understand you now? Excellent. Now maybe we can stop wasting time. How could you understand me without my shirt on? Attempts were made to figure that out weeks ago, but you denied our request. Did I? To quote you specifically, lols don't care. Eh, sounds like me. Whoa, hold the phone. Weeks? I didn't sign off on anything. King Cody of Bennett, on your authority, we are officially a nation at war. The Declaration Parade has started and we must act quickly. The Elder Council awaits your arrival. This is a huge, huge, huge mistake. No such thing has been made, King Cody of Bennett. Or would you prefer that we keep calling you Sir Mixalot? We honor your wishes, as per the prophecy. To do otherwise would be treason. Us other brothers can't deny. Yeah, that's the thing. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm no king. The closest I've ever come to royalty is my VIP card at the grocery store. Forgive the sudden lapse in memory of our liege. He has been on a tear all morning. The decoration parade is in full swing and our armies are prepping. All that's left is for our king to lead them into glorious battle. Again, do I look like a king to you? General Zylock, Cody Bennett is clearly aligned and confused. To make decisions at this moment would be rash. As a ranking officer of the Buffalo Army, what do you advise? I say we stay the course. Continue planning the war and begin combat training. We are too far along to halt now. Can't I override this or something? You could, but I wouldn't advise it. Why not? Because reversing a declaration of war with no grounds is grounds itself for prosecution. On what grounds? Enough. King Cody of Bennett is clearly not in the right mind. Until he is, we must temporarily halt any military action. But your dignitaries... It is decided. See? I'm not in my right mind. Hmm. <laughs> this isn't over. So, uh, we kind of got off on the wrong foot when I woke up. No worries, Your Majesty. We're here when you need us. You are, aren't you? So if I wanted to drill you on stuff, you'd have to answer me, right? I mean, I am the king of Bathalar. Balathar. I know. I'm just testing you. Names in rank, soldiers. Private Sorg. Private Soots. 
personal guard, guard to King, King Cody, Cody of Bennett, and member, and member of, of the Royal Buffalo Army. Army. Private Zorg, recount the origins of your high and mighty king. Don't miss anything. Yes, sir. As was foretold in the prophecy, a large light illuminated the sky of the night of Xoxas, signifying the arrival of our chosen one. Immediately after, our elite guard went on to the origin of the light and found you bathing in the water of gorge, singing the holy song. Baby got back? An enchanting hymn if I ever heard one. You immediately took charge upon arrival, implementing a sweeping number of new policies and standards, including the renewed war efforts. And you say I've been doing this for two weeks. The best two weeks ever, sir. How far is Gorge from here? Uh, 50 miles, give or take. Why do you ask? Maybe I can jog my memory and start putting some things together. You two up for a trip? Ah, what am I talking about? I'm freaking king. I order you two to take me to Zorge. Please? I'll prepare transportation immediately, your majesty. Road trip! Stand down, men. There will be no war. For now, at least. When will the enemy taste the sweet steel of my blade? <sighs> Calm yourself, warrior. Until further notice, I want all of you to resume training. We don't know when the king will return to the right frame of mind, so we must remain ready. Dismissed. Lord of King Cody's condition is already starting to spread throughout the city. It makes one wonder about things. I have no time for your games and riddles, Sanelos. If you have something to say, say it. I come to you as the strengthening voice of an idea already floating around in your head. Don't presume to read my mind, sorcerer. Why would I even have to? It's written all over your face. Do you want this war to go on, with or without the king's approval? What if I could help you with that? What's in it for you? The mere satisfaction of knowing I did was right for my kingdom and its people. But I don't need an answer now. You'll know when the moment comes. <laughs>